वेलकम टू मरीन टेक हब टूडे आई लाइक टू थैंक ऑल माई सब्सक्राइबर्स ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड टू मेक मरीन टेक हब टू दी आई एस लेवल आई एम गिविंग ए स्पेशल डिस्काउंट फॉर मेम्बरशिप लेवल फाइव वैर आई विल बी गिविंग फुल सपोर्ट टू इंजीनियर्स ऑन बोर्ड द शिप प्लस आई एम गिविंग ऑल द वीडियो लिंक्स सो पीपल फ्रॉम ऑल शिपिंग कंपनीज आर कॉलिंग मी फॉर ट्रबल शूटिंग सुपरडेंट शिप इंजीनियर्स so this is the real time troubleshooting which i have done and i am doing it for so many years now so here what happened is uh, the servo error motor error problem was there so message was sent to them so they have removed the servo error motor here and i told them to give a external supply and check whether it's working or not in both directions so normally uh we can operate on on emergency mode uh by pushing the button up and down to see that this servo motor is working okay if not then we remove and brought to the workshop here and uh, this is the photograph sent from the ship so they are trying from the external power so when you give external power it should move on both direction in case if it's not moving then maybe the bearing is uh worn out or not working or the motor is burnt something like that so then other if if it is working then there is a cam here red color you can see if the position of this cam is changed again this is not going to work so okay so what i am trying to tell you is you can see this cam here so these cams are there for different purpose each cam I, there is a sequence of operation of the boiler uh, which you will Uh, no in detail when you are uh, firing the boiler like per initially it will purge then damper will open uh, slowly slowly pull then close all these things you will be knowing as a engineer so i will not explain on that make sure these cams are in position i will tell separate video uh, in part 4 how to adjust these cams suppose the cams are not in position then also you will not be able to uh, fire the boiler okay so this is the electrical drawing so you can refer to the electrical drawing to see that you get whether the cam should be in the normal open or normal closed position so you can see the diagram here this is an electrical diagram you have as a electrical officer you should be able to judge which is the relay which is getting on or off so all this is very important okay so so uh, what the message which you received from the ship i am going to play that so that Uh, you will be in a position to understand what actually went and this is a real time uh, message come from the ship okay so i am playing the video for you thank you very much i appreciate you so now at the present moment our boiler is working the problem is uh, the problem was that our servo motor was stuck up so before we uh, start the boiler we check the measurement and after disconnect the uh, uh, servo motor completely uh, it was uh, overhaul totally in the workshop so uh, we observed that inside Uh, the gear was the old grease which is uh, which was stuck up uh, so and maybe it was the cause why it uh, couldn't rotate well so after that when we put the uh, air servo motor back so we started uh, we observed that it started moving uh, both direction up and down but evenly we could not move it by uh, hands only because maybe a lot of gear inside that's why Well, you cannot move it by hands up and down so but uh, from uh, unisub signal uh, comes and uh, the servo motor rotates always so after uh, some minutes we try to start so we already observe alarm that only flame out so it's already was other issue so after that we a little bit adjust air so and um, uh, also we disconnect the uh, air motor servo motor and try to uh, rotate the the valve the valve which is located uh, inside the uh, burner which is responsible for fuel because when the air servo motor opening damper for purging so the fuel valve should be closed but we had uh, when we installed we had another problem Uh, the valve of fuel was also open and when the boiler uh, was going to 
the starting position so the few valves uh, going to close we observe that uh, on the gauge so and that's why we a little bit uh, adjust the fuel valve so I mean uh, it, this is the shaft through the air motor uh, which uh, comes to burn so and now the boiler is running now the burn the, the boiler is running yes yeah, sometimes you need to a little bit by hand adjust uh, air damper but it's already other issue so it's already other issue you can uh, disconnect link but now we have state encourage in Mexico and our boiler is running this is the success so thank you very much for your help so you really help us with your idea so thank you thank you so also uh, when we put the uh, air servo motor back we observe that uh, on the PC in the engine control room the position uh, of the motor uh, when it stopped was minus six minus seven we a little bit adjust adjusted the uh, cam, cam, okay so which is responsible for uh, linkage uh, I mean see uh, let me switch it there so and it, it was help now it's almost zero sometimes minus two uh, it's moving one when it sits st stand still so but it's already on a little bit adjustment but totally the problem was solved so that's why thank you very much success and nothing else okay guys uh, this is the message from the ship uh, regarding the feedback which you have given and they have successfully able to run the composite boiler and reach Mexico uh, without any problem the, this was a great success and uh, uh, this is how we are working with the ship so people or engineers who are having any problem on the ship superintendents they can always uh, message me and I am ready to help them out so this is this is way we can save money time for the company and off fire so if you like the video please subscribe my phone number is there email number is there okay have a nice day thank you very much